Well, good afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It's Friday afternoon, and we're just trying to bring you up to speed with everything that is with the Dallas Cowboys. Um, if you watch Thursday Night Football, and apparently Amazon being um, the Thursday Night Provider did not hurt week one of the season because they had record numbers for Thursday night football for last week. Um, we'll see what it looks like for this week. This week's game was kind of a snooze fest, not as big a game as the week before. I know I've heard a lot of fans kind of say, screw this, I'm not paying for watching the games, but in the end, we all really are paying for games. But if you watch that game last night, it was kind of a mixed bag for Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper had 101 yards, seven receptions, did go out of bounds on what would have been a huge, huge back-breaking play. On fourth down and two, did um, bobble uh, a catch and it touched the ground, which would have been a first down and so on, but did have his second touchdown of the year. And for the first time in like eight, nine years, um, the Browns have had a receiver catch two 100-yard-plus games two weeks in a row. Um, and when you think about some of the players they've had there with like Odell and stuff, that is pretty big um, for the Browns. So Jerry Jones, and this is one of those things that sometimes, you know, you wish people would just say, you know what, I screwed the pooch. I messed up. I'm sorry. I'll do better. I, that's one of those things that I would rather hear and respect Jerry Jones, if he said something like that, but Jerry Jones, this is what Jerry Jones said when he was asked about, um, you know, if there's any regrets about Amari Cooper. Well, Amari Cooper, the issue with Amari Cooper was how much we were paying him and what we could do with the money completely. Amari Cooper is good. He's a real good player, top player, and could and should be able to be on any team there is in the NFL. But do you want to allot that much money to it? Or do you have to make sure that much allocation? Or would you rather have a better offensive line? Would you rather have a better pass rush? You can't have it all, man. You can't have it all. Um, I would buy that if you if you told me that we were going to go out and we were going to get some players, you know, to replace that money. He was twenty one million dollars for a cap hit. We end up taking, I think, a $7 million or $6 million um, dead money hit on there. And we didn't replace his production. I'm trying to see where he says, well, you know, we made up on the offensive line. I mean, we did sign Jason Peters, but Jason Peters was, what, a million and a half? And as far as on the defense, you know, we signed Anthony Barr. Anthony Barr was $2 million? So where is all this help with the money that you saved for the team? We had Von Miller come through and say, hey, I'd like to come to Dallas. And I would say, yeah, Jerry, if you let go of Mari Cooper and brought in Von Miller, sure, I get that. But you didn't even get your own players like Randy Gregory. And I understand with Randy Gregory, because you have some young guys and stuff, but where is it that you've improved the team with this money? That's where I don't understand. Because you could have done like most teams did, understanding a couple of things. Here, here's one of the things I want you to understand here. That this whole thing about money is bullcrap. Understand this. To you guys, which is bigger? Having Sunday ticket? To be able to see all the games, like let's say you're not in the local market for your team and be able to see Red Zone and all that stuff, Sunday ticket, access to every single game on Sunday, or access to Thursday night football. Which one is bigger to you guys? Okay. Just for the sake of argument, what DirecTV was paying a year for Sunday ticket was $980 million a year. That's a good amount of money. Now check this out. For the one game, the one game that is on Thursday night, 
Amazon is paying $1.2 billion just for that. Understand this. About two months ago, we had heard that Apple was the leader in the clubhouse for Sunday ticket at $3 billion. But then Google said, hey, wait a minute. And we haven't heard anything more. I don't believe the price tag has gone down for Sunday ticket than the $3 billion. I'm betting that Google is coming back in there with another number. And since both of these companies are getting close to worth of a trillion dollars, what is $3 billion to say I've got Sunday ticket and can stream it? So understand the salary cap is not going to go up like it used to, you know, $10, $12 million a year. The salary cap is going to explode. It's going to explode. And so if you are really adamant about saying that Amari Cooper is a great player that helps any team, especially now that you see that wide receiver money has gone from that $21 million to like $30 million, his contract, even as it stood, wasn't that bad. The Browns actually reworked his contract, so he's only a $5 million hit this year. So you could have reworked his deal similar to like what you did for Demarcus Lawrence and saved yourself some cap room and still be able to have money to go ahead and get some other guys. Because most teams realize the salary cap is going to explode starting next year because that's when all the new collective bargaining money comes in. Jerry, I would rather you say, you know what? I just didn't like Amari Cooper, and I just wanted him off the team. I could respect that, but don't snow job us now. Don't bullshit us. Come on, man. Um, Micah Parsons, still dealing with the cold, is feeling better, but he won't practice today, but should be good for Monday night. Um, let's hope so, because I, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, he shows up and shows off against the New York Giants. And... Um, Cooper Rush, <laughs> you know, Jerry Jones has kind of walked back and talked about how much he loves Dak Prescott, you know, and, and things on there. You know, Jerry Jones, the salesman in there who doesn't always tell you exactly the way it is. Cooper Rush says he and Dak Prescott have shared a good laugh about Jerry Jones comments regarding quarterback controversy. If he continues to win, he's like, you know what? All I want to do is just keep winning. I understand. I am just a place card here till Dak gets back. And I'm hoping that I do good enough that our team has a chance to compete and get that ring. And I'm just happy to be a valuable part of it. So <clears throat> I think, I think, I may be wrong on this, but I think the Cowboys without Dak Prescott, I think it was four and five was the record. I thought I might be wrong on that um, going into this game, but I think now the Cowboys are at 500. It might be five and five. I, I don't, don't quote me on those numbers. I do make mistakes and I'll be the first one to say that I'll make mistakes um, on there, but I believe the Cowboys without Dak are now somewhere around 500. Um, I think as far as Jason Garrett goes before Dak Prescott, I think he had only had one victory without Tony Romo. So maybe the Cowboys are better off actually with Mike McCarthy and crew than we would have been with Jason Garrett. That remains to be seen, but that's what we got for you guys right now. And I uh, hope you're having a great day. I hope you tune in tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, for our live stream where we'll be talking about everything that is the Cowboys as they get ready to take on the New York stinking Giants. And um, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And, you know, I've been, I have been listening to Pizzle. I've been listening to Pizzle kind of go off on me kind of try to challenge me to stuff try to call me out in things i'm debating in my mind if i want to do something or not let me know in the comments or should i just leave it alone field goal attempt third and four 48 yard field goal attempt he missed it he missed it what what no
No! 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 Oh, wait, there's a flag. Wait, there's, there's a flag. flag. If, if it's on the, there's if a flag. On, Hold on. on the giant, there's a flag. On the Hold, on. No oh, Hold on. Hold on. The are you are, are you shitting me? Is it on the are you shitting me? It's on the Giants. It's on the Giants. Wait a minute. Hold on. If it's on the Giants, that means he gets another yeah. chance to kick. Hold on. What's the penalty? Yeah. I think he's. I think. He, I think another chance. It's on the defense. He gets no Oh my he God! But look at Pizzle. Look at Pizzle. He gets an opportunity. Look at Pizzle. An opportunity because it was on the defense. Oh my God! He gets the opportunity. He jumped oh, in the no, new. Oh my no. God! Pizzle literally has not There's moved. No way Somebody check on Pizzle. Look, look at Pizzle. Come on, man. He's ejected. Oh He's my. Ejected. He like. He's like what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh. Pizzle. 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 Look at Pizzle. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. It's good, and that's two hundred dollars. That's two hundred dollars. Shout out, Bizzle! Oh, Bizzle's in state of shock. Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Look at this! Oh my god, poor Pizzle. Poor, oh. Pizzle, I'm sorry, man. I feel bad for you. Oh my god. Pizzle, no. Pizzle. Heineke's like, holy snap. He's like, yeah. 